So last Friday, one of my favorite companies, CSR Collectibles, dropped a few mystery boxes. They did an everything but horror box uh, or envelope. They did a horror envelope and they did a scratch and dent box. Now I'm going to close my cheat sheet here. Now, I went with the scratch and dent because it was a good deal. It was like 100 bucks after shipping. And their scratch and dent stuff I've bought from there before and it's usually not that dinged up, not that bad. But because they're so careful with what they put out into the market, they're very particular about what they put out there. So if it has any kind of smudge, if the picture is grainy in the slightest, they're not going to unless they mark it accordingly. There are a lot of things that could be in this box. Like, I honestly don't know what to expect, but they did say it was going to be a horror box. I don't know what I do with my knife. But I got this little backup guy here. So, there's a chance I'm going to have to do some editing on this if it's something that surprises me and I got to look it up. Uh, but you know how I am with my videos. When I get something, I like to go into more detail than necessary about who it is, what they've done. So we'll see how this goes. CSR Collectibles located in Castlebury, Florida. Shipping extremely fast, like by maybe two hours after I had ordered it and that's pushing it. Uh, we received tracking on it and everything, so so we got. All right, all right, all right. So this box had a flat and a like 3D item. So a, a flat and like a, a Funko Pop or a mask or something like that. Looks like I did pull a Funko Pop, which makes me happy. And then we have our flat here, guaranteed at least two autographs, I believe it was. Uh, I closed the cheat on it because I didn't want to hear dinging. So, alright. So this is Zelda. can't remember the name. I, I ordered this not long ago. Uh, Zelda from Pet Cemetery. That is an awesome piece. I love it with the inscription. I'm coming for you. And it looks like there's a second one in here. Let me, this knife is awful. So we got Zelda. I want to say Andrew. We're going to look it up. I'm going to... Oh, sick. And then we got Shorty. From Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, this is one of those things where it's like... I look at it and I don't see the issue. I mean, okay, so there's a little bit of smudge, I guess, to the signature, but you, you can't tell, like right at the top of the M there. But this is cool, because all I have are the Chiodo Brothers, so this is awesome. Uh, Andrew, oh, wow, there's another one in here. Okay. Now I feel like I gotta double check the, the list here. All right, so there's our Zelda, which is an awesome one. I'm coming for you, Sean. And then this one is awesome. These are all JSA, Matthew Lillard, and Nev Campbell on a sick screen piece. And this isn't even that bad. Like, yeah, okay, there's a smudge on Stu, but it's it's not bad. Have you seen my screen mask? That was not from CSR Collectibles. I'll make that very clear. Um, wow. Okay, now I feel like I got a cheat here. Let me... Let me pull this, this back up here. I was on the mystery box bunker is going to be the easiest place for me to find. Maybe they didn't post it. I feel like CSR was, they were sneaky about this one. They sent an email out letting people know that they were going to do it. But I don't remember seeing them post the actual teaser to it. But the mystery box bunker, am I going to edit this? Probably not. You guys are going to skip through and just look at what you want to see anyway. And that's fine. Michael Berkowitz posted it. This box is loaded. Like, I have zero complaints. Um, man. All right. Well, I find that. Let me go ahead and get to this other piece for you here, huh? You would love that. You would love that. It would make you happy. Let me 
Okay, so with my crappy knife. And if you look behind me, you will notice that I am a fan of the signed Funkos. So this is going to make me very, very happy. No matter what it is. Our collectibles posted by Mike Berkowitz. There we go. Uh, so everything you would normally expect to be in the scratch and dent section will be contained in this. So smears, blemishes, bends, creases, etc. One per customer per household. Minimum of two photos and one non-photo. So there we go. Oh, what? Now I will have to check, but this is a sick... Oh, this is awesome. Okay. I don't remember the character's name, but this is a really cool pop. All right, I don't remember the actor's name. Not the character, obviously, but the character is. Dude. Holy crap. Wolfman from the Monster Squad. Look at that. Oh, come on, where's his name here? Me... Where's his name? Okay, so I have not watched this movie in way too long, but it was one of my favorites growing up. So, let's see. You guys hate this video. I'm so sorry. Why is it not telling me? Okay, so the smart way to do this would be to just go to JSA and do a search. As you all bear with me and yell at me, screaming me this individual's name. Carl Feebolt, Carl Feebolt, on this glow-in-the-dark New York Comic Con limited edition Funko Pop. Now, with this one on Monster Squad, you can see some smudge and you can see some smearing, but it's not that bad. And this Funko Pop is sick. So, if I look up Carl here, uh, Waxworks, The Garage, Munchies, Monster Squad... Ugh. This is awesome. This is a home run. I am stoked. So we got Carl here on the Wolfman Funko Pop. We got Matthew Lillard and Nev Campbell on the Scream 8x10. We got Andrew, our good friend Zelda. And then we got Shorty. I'm, I'm stoked. Like, I have no complaints at all on this box. There will be a link to CSR Collectibles in the description below. Keep an eye on them. They don't do mystery boxes on a regular basis. They just kind of randomly pop up when they feel like doing them. They have a lot of pre-orders going right now, though. They've been knocking pre-orders out of the park for private signings and things of that nature. Uh, see if I can tell you who they still have to go here. If you go to their website, you go to pre-orders. If you're doing a sending, they have some really, really helpful videos on how to get those sent over to them. Um, they have Aaron Armstrong, Brad Harden, Sean Young, and Nick Castle still coming up. So check them out. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm not going to trim this down. I can edit, but I don't want to. Until next time.